Right, so we've had a, an issue with the vehicle that um, has just been, yeah, so difficult to find. So um, I had a bit of rough running on the engine. I decided to change the plugs and uh, also then to try and clean the contacts. Uh, started the vehicle, ran for about a minute and a half, and then it just stopped. Uh, it didn't like uh, slow down. It just it just stopped. Uh, went to restart it, and basically everything comes on. Turn the key zero nothing but what you can also not hear is anything in the engine there's none of the contacts you can't hear the fuel pump start up there's nothing so it's just dead um, so obviously rechecked everything checked all the uh, the connections and yeah couldn't find anything um, checked the fuse box in the engine and all the fuses were fine and then uh, went to the fuse box that is down in the footwell and um, yeah we found a blown fuse so basically got into the fuse box underneath the footwell and went through them and found that the 10 amp fuse uh, which is for the edge um, was blown 10 amp fuse so you can see there that's a good one that's a bad one so what it's basically doing is the wiring harness for pretty much all of the sensors um, and also for um, the plugs the um, the spark plugs and, and and basically everything there they're just there's no power going to them um, it's a 10 amp fuse it's um, it's blowing absolutely instantly as soon as it's uh, coming on so didn't even want to try and use the tester because it's got a maximum of 10 amps uh, didn't want to blow my tester up so yeah the hunt was on um, so started to try, try and check the wires wiggle the wires and contacts and everything else clean everything up and just kept blowing fuses so okay so what i've ended up trying to do is um i've managed to open a fuse up i've um, soldered on uh, some wires onto each side of uh, a broken fuse so we've got basically in and out and I've rigged it up to a double filament bulb uh, with both filaments um, attached because what I want is the the amperage um, to be taken up so I want this to any any sort of thing above 10 10 amps I want this to glow super bright uh, to protect the circuit um, and that's basically then plugs into where the fuse will go and the light will come on and obviously then the usual thing of trying to go around and wiggle the wires and um, yeah we've searched everything but we have found it so this simple little thing here has a protected the circuit but it's also allowed me to to find the fault Right, so you can see my bulb is uh, a light and it's a dual filament and one of them is really glowing so it's got a lot of amperage in there. Um, so basically once that was on it was just a case then of, of wiggling all the wires and obviously I've changed all the plugs and uh, I've disturbed these wires. I changed and, and I basically cleaned every single plug. So it was a case of just going through and just checking all the wires doing wiggles to see if we get any kind of um, you know filament that was going to just dull and absolutely nothing um, and I just kept going through 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 checked every single wire and then it was a case then of trying to check all the plugs so I went along each one and pulled all the plugs off and basically when I pulled this one off instant out and now you can hear the engine is alive there's there's um, you can hear that there's there's sounds coming from the engine which wasn't there before so that was that it's somewhere here so the next check was to disconnect this completely and then see if i replace the fuse if it would um, blow and then with the engine start uh, because i was worried that it might have actually been the um the ecu so that was the next thing so we basically pull out our test circuit and we get ourselves a new 10-8 fuse make sure we got the right one pop it in so with that uh, basically that lead disconnected and a new fuse in we get the noise car starts runs like crap because it's only on three but there we go we've absolutely uh, isolated where that uh, that problem is so we've, we've got the engine running so that's all cool uh, next thing is to try and find that fault all right so obviously we've 
basically got it down to this area here. So what I ended up doing was, was fully checking uh, the contacts in here. We've got uh, good continuity. We've got uh, power coming through. So I stripped back all of the wires, you know, I'm thinking is it um, where I've pulled it off and it's, you know, it's managed to kink a wire or something like that. And I've gone all the way back down to here and absolutely nothing. The wires are all in great condition. So I'm pretty sure that it wasn't the wire. So the next thing to do was to try and check obviously within there and see about in here as well. So pulling out the coil pack, just wanted to make sure there was nothing uh, rubbing, making sure that there was nothing that was um, inside that was uh, a problem. So again, nothing there. So I'm now sort of sort of trying to have a bit of a guess. So what I've ended up doing is um, testing the pins to see if uh, we've got any kind of um, a problem with that. So um, bringing out the multimeter. Um, I've decided to just try and see, you know, just do do a, a bit of an experiment. So if I put the positive on pin one, negative on pin two, I get a circuit, positive on pin one, and then on pin three, I also get a circuit. So that was, that's the, the, the coil that I'm suspicious of. Pulled out another coil and um, done the same thing. And I've gone pin one, pin two, I've got a circuit and then gone pin three and absolutely nothing. So pin three shouldn't be giving me a circuit. So I did that with all three coils, uh, the other three, and I got the same result. So pin one, pin two, circuit, pin one, pin three, no circuit. Pin one on the suspect coil, pin two, circuit, circuit on pin three so my thoughts are that somewhere within this coil pack there is a short uh, which is making the third pin um, open and um, that is obviously putting um, a huge amount of amperage through which is just blowing that fuse absolutely immediately so I'm hoping now that if I get a new coil uh, new coil pack um, that will work obviously if that goes wrong again then we have got a problem that's deeper within the ECU but I'm hoping that that is going to be um, the solve to solve the problem um, so unfortunately I've got to order this part and um, it's going to be a little while so I can't continue on but I will come back and let you know how it got on but that was using um, a simple dual filament bulb um, basically soldered onto the fuse to make the circuit but the filament there would protect the circuit from the high amperage I was unable to check what amperage went through because I know it's definitely more than 10 amps and this will blow my multimeter so I didn't want to do that um, and um, but then by powers of deduction I've then managed to isolate it to this but what it has done it's confirmed it's not my ECU um, as far as I know um, but it's this and the fact that it's been getting worse and um, it uh, suddenly died and this is what the spark plug was looking like it's particularly carbonized up um, and it's been running you know a bit bit rough and then it got really rough on the day and then it just stopped so changed all the plugs and reset everything and then it went so yeah maybe I disturbed something or maybe it was just on its way out and I, that was its final gasp so there we go um, so a FOMO Co um, for a Ford Escape um, also a Mazda 6 um, so if you have a Far East version of the Escape um, you'll find that they're a FOMO Co with a three pin and you've got two pins on here. Um, if you've got a US version of the Escape, you'll have an ECU with three plugs, but they'll only have two pins. So this is a different version of it. So it's also from a Mazda 6. So if you can't find, if you've got a problem with one of these and it's got three pins and it's a Ford Escape, look for a Mazda 6. Uh, it's the same one. There you go. Right, hopefully that's uh, solved the problem. There you go. There's the uh, there's the um, this, the filament bulb that's been um, basically soldered into a broken fuse to give me a circuit, and that will protect against the higher amperage with a long enough lead that I can actually there put it on the engine so I can see it. Um, 
another way of doing it would be to uh, in series uh, to actually put a little buzzer in there as well which would buzz and obviously whenever you break the circuit the buzzer would go off if you can't see the bulb um, so that's another way of doing it and that's basically the fuse that went was the Eng fuse uh, 10 amp fuse and um, yeah quite a difficult one to find